welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be uh, trying to create a 5 volt power supply uh, on our own with easily available parts now what I've seen before is that most single board computers actually come with a micro USB port or actually a compatible USB cable to power them up but they modern ones tend to take up a lot of power may it be raspberry pi 3 or banana pi or for that matter any one any other board that is at least quad core or more they tend to take up a lot of power and generally re require more than the uh, two amp limits on most easily available um, usb power supplies so for example i have this so this is a Sony Cyber Energy, Cycle Energy, and it's a five point. Uh, it's a five volt two point one amp adapter, but it is still not enough. I do get uh, you no know, dropouts in the current uh, requirement a draw from the Raspberry Pi three because of losses and all of that stuff. As good as power as a power cable you might use, but uh, these things these things are not really enough. To power modern uh, mini PCs or single board computers like the Raspberry Pi 3 so we are going to try to make our own so till now what I was using as sort of my uh, bench power supply is uh, this thing right here so this is a very old and a homemade um, not made by me but it's a homemade uh, 5 volt uh, sorry 12 volt 5 amp power supply and with this i used to use this uh dc to dc step down uh voltage converter and what this does is takes in fire uh, around 40 volts is it uh, up to up to 40 volts and then uh, gives you a 5 volt uh, output up to 3 amps so that's more than enough for most boards they don't they won't require much and this works well but the thing is this is huge and as huge as it is it is extremely heavy and difficult to carry around enters what we are going to use now this is a laptop battery charger or a laptop charger and it is rated at 18.5 volts at 3.5 amps more than enough for us and more than enough for this particular project so we are going to tear this apart and uh, add this with our own custom wire because i really want to keep uh, the attached wire and i want to keep it separate uh, of everything else i just want to take it out of the equation i don't want to make ugly cuts here and there and i just want a clean uh, double wire just coming out of the main port uh, so let's go ahead and try to do that let's keep this aside as we try to uh, open this up and I'll just keep my iron to heat up till then alright to open this up let's um, the only way I guess is to pry it open and in case we can't get to pry it open I will have to get out cut out this wire and use that so um i cannot feel any sort of screws underneath so it must be um pry to open i guess Alright, so uh, this seems to be the PSU um, uh, That's it I guess So this is the end where the main AC goes in and um, Our main transformer and stuff like that. So uh, This is the wire that we need to replace with our own so let's see what we have. I am seeing oh, three wires for some reason. Maybe one ground. I don't know. So let's take it out. Hopefully we can get a closer look.
right so um this is what i've done so far i've simply removed the old wires uh the and added my own to the output and that seems that it should work and uh, we should be get good to go so i'll be uh packing this back up well, shouldn't be too difficult I guess guess I'll have to route the wires to here and then add the upper plate and there we have it now it is uh, prone to opening up on its own as it was not really logged into place but more like stuck into place so I'll add a round of tape on top and that should be good for us so I'll just fetch that so I'll be going for just any random piece of tape uh, and I will I might end up actually sealing this up with super glue or something like that later on uh, but this is what I have for now and it should be good a couple of rounds I guess it, it should keep it uh, from falling apart randomly and cut it and now we have our very own DIY 3.5 amp um, adapter but the problem still remains and it still gives up 18.5 volts and that would absolutely fry our Raspberry Pi or for any SBC for that matter and we don't want that to happen and so for that we are going to add in a voltage converter or DC to DC step down converter and which we have right here now this converter can happily work at around 3 amps so that should be more than enough uh, plug both of them in and screw them down and they should work so um maybe stick it down with some uh, double sided tape just on top like that and it should be more than enough so let's see if that works for us and if that powers up our banana pie for now uh, because that's that actually kind of draws more power than the raspberry pi so we'll boot android on it and see if it works Alright, so we are back. I have the uh, laptop charger connected to the regulated voltage supply and uh, plugged in as well as I have added this multimeter in the loop to give us a readout of how much current is being consumed by the banana pie right here. So let's go ahead and turn on that. So everything powers on. Right now we are at point. 2 amps banana pie is up you can see that rising up uh, to around 3.6.7 amps 0.6 amps dropping down and we are at our Android boot screen so yes it didn't take a lot of current as I was expecting it to but uh, it seems to be working fine uh, better than what I had uh, it's lightweight and it's much more portable so a win-win situation right there so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one